In Jamaica, the Senate officially welcomed Senators Dr. Christopher Tufton and Arthur Williams on Friday. Both men have had a turbulent ride in regaining their seats in the upper house, but it seems things have been put to rest. More in this report from Candice Ming. Warm welcome for ousted Senators Dr. Christopher Tufton and Arthur Williams to the upper house on Friday. Both opposition senators were embroiled in a legal tussle to reclaim their positions in the upper house. But on Friday, both men returned to the Senate vindicated following Wednesday's decision by the Court of Appeal that their removal was indeed unconstitutional. The Court of Appeal upheld the Constitutional Court's ruling that the removal of Mr. Williams and Tufton from the Senate in November 2013 was null and void. Opposition leader Andrew Holness had used pre-signed, undated resignation letters to boot them from their posts. On February 6, the Constitutional Court ruled that Mr. Holness's actions were unlawful, contrary to public policy and in breach of the Constitution. Still not satisfied, the opposition leader appealed the ruling. That request would be thrown out by the appellate court on March 25, paving the way for Dr. Tufton and Mr. Williams's official return to the Senate. Justice Minister Senator Mark Golding expressed relief that the ambiguity surrounding the issue has been cleared up. He described the scenario as unprecedented and dangerous. I also wish to state for the record that we too, on this side, are relieved and thankful that the frankly dangerous unconstitutional escapade that led to their unlawful exclusion from their seats in the Senate has now been put to its quiescence. Senator Golding also had high praises for the judiciary. He says the judgments were delivered in a timely manner. Both the judges of the Constitutional Court and the Court of Appeal for duly playing what may be regarded as their most important constitutional role arising from the separation of powers that underlies our governmental system. And not only that, but doing so with manifest judicial dexterity, appropriate circumspection, and indeed mature sensitivity to the pressing national interest. This is indeed, Mr. President, a moment to celebrate our nation's judiciary. Meanwhile, Leader of Opposition Business in the Senate, Tom Tavares Finson, welcomed his colleagues. I'm sure that both will take up where they left off in contributing to the integrity of the debate in this chamber. And perhaps now that Mr. Williams is here, I will not hear the continuous refrain that says, if Arthur was here, I couldn't do this or that. For his part, Senator Williams wasn't prepared to say much. Thank you, Minister of Justice and Acting Leader of Government Business and the Leader of Opposition Business for your welcome. And that is all I propose to do today. There are other occasions to say other things. I uh, thank you. But Dr. Tufton says he regretted how things unfolded. This should be a learning experience for all of us. And I too want to publicly say, and certainly in this house, to the extent to which I may have contributed to the process that has led or led to the conclusion that we have had to depend on the courts to resolve. It is regrettable, and I certainly am sorry for that. I think it will certainly represent one of the experiences in my own political life that I will always regret. Candy Sming for Scene Caribbean News. And the Justice Minister, Senator Mark Golding, thanked replacement senators, Rel Reed and Dr. Nigel Clark, for their contribution to the Senate. He says the chambers will miss their meaningful contribution to debates.